get ready to rock out because I'm about to tell you about some of Ohio's coolest rocks. Here in the Buckeye State, some of our rocks are important in making everything from peanut butter to iPads, and they give us clues about the history of this land of ours. Most of the rocks here are sedimentary. Sedimentary rocks are formed by mud, sand, and the remains of plants that harden together over time. Usually this happens at the bottom of a lake or sea. Some sedimentary rocks that you might have heard of are sandstone, limestone, and coal. They are all over the state. Now, you might be thinking, wait, if they come from the bottom of the sea, how did they get so far away from the ocean? Well, Ohio used to be covered in water. It was less of a Buckeye state and more of a sea state with all sorts of underwater animals. This was quite a while ago. Some scientists say over 500 million years ago. Evidence of this watery time is captured in the limestone and dolomite of Western Ohio. Limestone is mined for lots of uses. Construction workers build landscaping walls with it, side houses with it, and even pour cement paths made out of it. Limestone is also an important ingredient in everything from toothpaste to hair mousse to medicine. Limestone and dolomite in Ohio also preserved plenty of fossils from animals that used to roam the shallow sea here, including these guys, trilobites. Trilobites are marine arthropods. Arthropods are animals without spines that have segmented bodies, arms, or legs with joints, and usually shells that cover their bodies. Spiders and crabs are also considered arthropods. If we head east, you can find our state gemstone in central Ohio. Flint is a hard, durable mineral with plenty of uses. Flint is used for starting fires. When it is hit by steel, it makes sparks. Native Americans used to make weapons like sharp arrowheads or knives. Ohio flint was valued for its colors of red, gray, yellow, and pink. Native Americans would trade the beautiful stones with others as a form of currency. Most of these pretty stones come from Flint Ridge in Licking and Muskingum counties. In 1965, flint was named the state's official gemstone. Southeastern Ohio is rich with shale, sandstone, and coal. At Hawking Hills, there are some particularly amazing blackhand sandstone formations. Check out Rock House. It was formed by the erosion of soft spots in the sandstone. With openings like windows that let light into the tall cave, it was the perfect place for Native Americans to take shelter. Not too far away is Old Man's Cave, a huge recess cave that was formed by erosion of layers of soft sandstone. I bet you can guess how it got its name. Legend says that Richard Rowe moved into the cave in 1796. He had intended to begin a trading post, but was known more as a hermit. With a house like this, who could blame him?